Waterfalls and mountains. Check. <clears throat> Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way. And then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Right, you're the military expert. What's the sub strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a sub? Besides lose the beard? Hang back? Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious? Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Assault's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then. <sighs> Fraser? Want to climb it with me? I'll keep watch for Assault's forces. <laughs> right. Don't drive off, though. Don't take too long. Been away. So far, so good. all the fun. <sighs> Nearly there. <clears throat> all three symbols, all in one place. Nice. Parashurama's bow. Let's see here. Fun little jaunt getting to the top of that one. What's behind the axe door? Another old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Last but not least, the trident door. And another old fortress just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. <gasps> Whoa! 
guess I should have looked for a call button before climbing up. Was it worth the climb? Definitely. All three symbols up top, each pointing to a different structure. No kidding. So we know where else we need to visit now? Indeed we do. In that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. Might be more guys over there, yeah? Once more, with gusto. <laughs> Salah versus the tiger. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Drink it, or at least...
They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Yeah. Oh. God. A bit hard on the wrists. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <sighs> oh shit. Statue moved again. Like the looks of this. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols. Now. A star and rings. They're all going to last other symbols, but I like your statues better.
Fresh air. This will be a picture of an X. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. Turn the water on. Well, well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <sighs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. Two out of three now. Moss and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. And now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halabadu. That's... pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls. The one with the trident. Australia. <laughs> Your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname, either. It was my mum's. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. by the falls left. Not that plan. 